Hi everyone, welcome back to Wiggin' with Christy. I'm Christy. Today I'm reviewing for you Raquel Welch Current Events Wig and the Limited Edition color. This is the Shaded Iced Sweet Cream, which is RL1622SS. So huge, long tongue twister. Um, so this review is going to be a little different. I purchased this wig on my own and let's just say I've had a very interesting experience with this wig and I'm going to just go full force and not hold back. Not that I hold back in general, but because of just the things that took place with this, I have to share them with you. Um, and I have to tell you that this isn't, doesn't always happen, but it can happen. So let's kind of dive into this mishap of a wig review. So like I said before, I purchased this wig with my own funds. So when this wig was announced, I was super excited. I've been really into bobs lately. You guys know that. Um, you know, I love my John Renault Allison. I've done um, even like the Ori wig. And so I was really excited about this new style and I really liked the color because y'all know I love Palm Springs Blonde by John Renault. And so I was like, I'm getting this wig. So. I ordered this wig. The manufacturer, Raquel Welch, sent me the wrong color. They sent me very close to color. It was actually, they sent me 1621 SS, which I don't remember the name of that, the official name. So that's right here. And I'm gonna do a comparison of how you can see those two shades next to each other. So I was like, oh, they sent me the wig, it's cute, but they sent me the wrong color. So um, then, they ordered me um, and we did a replacement return, no worries, super smooth. And they sent me the correct color, uh, this new shaded, you know, sweet cream, ice sweet cream color. So I get this and um, the one I receive, uh, I wore it. I was actually doing a wig vlog. I was gonna do just something different for my channel and do like this, wig vlog review, you know, uh, journey in the car, how did she do, you know, it's heat friendly fiber. I was just wanting to make it kind of fun and interesting. And I'm wearing it that day for like four hours. And I noticed one day I went like this and there was this long string all the way across, probably from a weft. And so I was like, okay. And then I noticed when I got home and I noticed kind of like this area over here, like on one of the wefts, you know, coming up into the mono top or sticking up. When I got home, I inspected the wig a little bit more. I noticed that there was another second string from weft to weft. And there was also one weft that looked like it was about to come apart. So I contacted Wig Studio One where I bought this from and um, sent them pictures and they sent it to the manufacturer because, you know, I'd already worn it. I had already taken off the tags. And typically when you do that, a wig's not replaced. And so Raquel Welch was um, understanding and they sent me, um, I, we did another return <laughs> and I sent that one back and I got this one. And same, same color I wanted, color I ordered, <laughs> yay. Immediately I opened up the box and it smelled terrible. I've had hundreds of wigs. I've never had a wig smell like this before. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe it's just the box, maybe shipping, you know. I, I've let it air out. I've tried to like have it sit on my bed for a while. Even wearing it now stinks. I'm actually gonna be washing this. Um, it smells like rubber, um, like a tire, plastic. It's hard to explain. It just stinks. And I was going to wear it one day for the day because I was, I actually did an unboxing of it when I first got it. And I actually might put this in this segment of this video. Um, and I, I was trying to wear it and I just was like, I, uh, I can't, I can't. 
it stinks. And so not really sure how that happens. I've never heard anything about that. I've never had one of my wigs from any manufacturer come stinking. So it could have just been a mishap. Um, it could just be the materials that are used and maybe, maybe they're washed or something and this one wasn't, or I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I don't feel any loose strings, so that's good. Um, I do kind of feel, I did kind of feel where there was maybe a little, um, one of these wefts lifting. They're not lifting, but if you feel something kind of like a, just from one of those wefts coming up to that mono, it is normal. I've had now two of these where I can feel it. It's not sticking up, um, but it's just kind of, just kind of there. So we're gonna go ahead and just roll with the punches and roll with this current events wig. I think after I wash her, she should be fine. Um, I'm gonna give her a good soak and a good condition. Um, and I think that that odor will go away, hopefully. So um, other than that, I really like the style and I really wanna wear her. I just need to get the smell out of her. So let's roll with the full review of current events. It's a modern length bob. I think it has a little of an A-line, not much. Uh, it's just really cute. There's a little tapered ends here at the bottom, just very lightly. It's crispy and edgy, it's modern, and I love it. I love this style. Like, I'm gonna wear this a lot. Uh, it has just the mono left part and the, she uh, and the sheer temple to temple lace front that Raquel Welch does. They do an excellent job with that lace front as always. Now this kind of can lean to the side folks. So you just gotta like kind of train that. You might wanna even get some steam if you wanna train that and get a lift. I know a lot of ladies like a lift kind of in the front um, and you can do a heat press. You can do some steaming and train that out of the face. Mine hasn't been as bad as I've seen this wig on some other people where it's just kind of like, you know, mine, mine hasn't done that bad with it. Um, and I put behind my ears a lot when I'm wearing bobs. That's just kind of how I roll with that. But you can do some major training with um, either putting behind your ears or styling or steam or heat press. So this is with the Memory Cap 3, which I'll show you when we show you inside the cap, and that's my favorite Raquel Welch cap. I love their caps, and I love their lace fronts. Um, so that's why I really hate to complain about it, but I need to be honest with you, is sometimes you just get a wig that stinks, and sometimes you get a wig that has some things wrong with it. And Maybe I should have inspected the wig first before I put it on and cut off the tags. So maybe let this be a reminder to um, check those wigs. Check them to make sure they're good. Check to see if you see any defaults with them before you take off the tags and put it on. Um, this is true to life heat friendly fiber. So just keep in mind with these ends, you wanna keep a wide tooth comb on you. You wanna keep them hydrated. At the end of the day, especially, you can use some uh, detangler or some silicone silk spray, which down below my link tree, I have a code to 25% off with Simply Styling Silicone Silk Spray. So I recommend that stuff for every single one of my wigs. I use that now more than any detangler because it is a detangler and it does a better job, honestly. So um, you just wanna take care of these fibers with it being heat friendly. So let's go ahead and do a spin. Okay, so let's first talk about this exclusive limited edition color. It is the RL1622SS, and that is Shaded Iced Sweet Cream. Now the color code for this is light blonde with platinum highlights and dark roots. Very pretty color. I was really excited to try it. 
Let's go ahead and take a look inside the cap. So we have a temple to temple lace front and a mono part. Now, um, Raquel Welch says this is a wide mono part. It's, you know, like an average left mono part, I guess. Um, for me, I mean, I just think it's a normal. No extended nape on these bobs again. Uh, Velcro adjusters and felt velvet ear tabs. All right, let's go ahead and do some styling. Now down below will be a link in my link tree to my Amazon storefront. And my Amazon storefront is where I have a lot of my wigs and accessories and products that I use for my wigs. So I get a lot of questions on where these are from down below my link tree. Now with this being an amazing lace part, you can easily get this off the face. Okay, so what do you think of current events? Now, I just wanna say a disclaimer. All your current events are not gonna come like me with multiple uh, issues, but what I could say with it what was is a learning lesson is when you get a wig in, inspect it. Take a look at it before you take off the tags, before you put it on, before you wear it, inspect your wig cap. Look at those wefts. Make sure you don't see any discrepancies or weak wefts or maybe some strings. Now, the string sometimes can happen on like weft to weft, but mine was like this big all the way across. And with one of the wefts looking compromised, that's why we were a little bit more concerned. And then we had like three issues. But always um, just pull it out. Take a look at your wigs before you put them on. Save yourself some money because a lot of times these wig manufacturers will not take back a wig if the tags are off and if you've worn it because they don't really know if that happened before you got the wig or if it happened while you were wearing the wig. Does that make sense? So that's kind of a lesson that I can say as I learned is I really need to um, take a look at my wigs before I put them on and wear them. Just do an inspection to protect my money and my investment into the wig. So I just hope that this is a lesson uh, for you guys as well as me. Um, uh, that's something that we can do with all of our wigs that we get so that we don't end up in trouble and stuck with a wig that we might not be happy with. So I love this wig. Other than the smell, I'm going to wash it, but I love current events and I'm glad I got this color. It's this beautiful ashy color uh, right up my alley. Uh, she really compares a lot to, with me to Palm Springs Blonde, and I'm gonna probably compare that color uh, soon, but I just wanna show you guys that uh, this is a beautiful wig, and she's a cute style, she's an everyday style, but I hope that this is also a lesson with wigs and checking them out, make sure you don't get in a whoops situation. So anyways, let me know what you guys thought about this wig and this uh, video. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have your support. Click the subscribe button, leave a comment. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Let me know like if you had a wig oops issue. You know, I mean, unfortunately, sometimes that can happen. And so we just gotta be careful with our investment. I know that not every situation has come out probably the way you've hoped for, uh, but no, kind of, you know, we kind of all learn and, um, you know, I definitely learned from this is you gotta check out those wigs before you take off those tags and before you wear them. I hope you guys have a great week. Don't forget to shine bright, love others and be kind. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.